enjoy your breakfast, Jim. Class ain't what it used to be. Well, I reckon it's all just a PR job myself. Yeah, you would. For once, I think you're right, Reg. It's nothing but a PR job. Listen to her. Mm. Honestly, you blokes crack me up. Well, I never worked under a woman before. No, under or over. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Reg. I mean, just think, it could have been worse. What could be worse than having to work under a female inspector, for God's sake? She could have been black and all. Get away with her. That'll never happen. Don't you bet on it? No, ten years ago they were saying that about female inspectors. Right. Well, I reckon it's out of order myself. Come back, Inspector Kai. All is forgiven. Oh, I can't wait to watch you lot. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Three bags full, ma'am. You wretch. You uh, still running a book on Galloway's replacement? Then? I certainly am, my son. Watch having a little flatter then. Yeah, what's the odds on Frank Burnside? Burnside? Burnside. Yeah, Burnside. Are you mad? Well, as it happens, I haven't even got his name in the frame, Ken. Since I'm a fair man, I'll give you, uh, what, 20? No, I'll tell you what, 30 to 1, that can't be bad. All right, just this once, right? I'll have a tenner on Burnside. Like taking candy from a baby. Uh, you do realise that what you're doing is illegal? And as an officer of the law, Hollis? Yeah. Oh, charming. What does that say there? Grass, at least that's what it looks like. Oh, dear. I didn't realise you could get seasick on a river. <laughs> oh, hell. Who's he? Sure, dear. Ted Roach. Long time no see, Cocker. This one's ours, Cocker. Oh, messy one. It's not very much for dragging it out for us. I hate the messy bit. Why don't you disappear in short, sharp, jerky movements? This is our call, our patch. And now our body. Terry Carr, part-time blagger, part-time snap. How's that for good detective work, eh? On the scene, ten seconds, and already I know twice as much as you. What's going on, Ted? This one's ours. Oh, Teddy. Don't play the wolf, Cocker. This here body is just a small part of a much bigger scene. Now, be a good boy and disappear before my skipper arrives. I look up a monkeys for your skipper, Dugan. This is our baby. I'll pretend I didn't hear that last remark, son. Now, have it away on your toes before my hearing improves. Right, what we got here, Henry? Excuse me, please. Stand out the way. Uh, I've always been saying you too. Yeah, thanks very much, sir. Just tell me what happened. Well... Ah, oh, morning, Mike. How are you? How's things? Ah, uh, not too shabby. I thought you were firmer out in the river dragging out bodies. Ted and Jim are on it. Mm. I'm up to my neck in nothing. Lucky old you. Hey, look, what's the news on the grapevine about Roy Galloway's replacement? Ah, oh, how many, uh, any one from ten? Alan Boxwood's my tip. Ah. Hmm? Oh. See you later, catch up with you. Yeah, okay. Oh, son, hold up a minute. Here. Morning, Morning, lad. Look, um, how are you settling in? Oh, fine, thank you, sir. No aggro? Aggro, sir? Yeah, like, um, Oh, aggro. you mean because I'm black? Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it, sir. I can handle it. Good lad. Any problems? Give us a shout. Oh, yeah. Oh, just that I don't want to see you, Hollis. I want a fiver on Alan Boxwood. Sir? Oh, now, come off it, Reg. I didn't just get off the banana boat. Oi! I heard that. You got ears like an alehouse rat. Well, you know. Come here. Give me up. Fiver, Alan Boxer. Right. Yeah, right, Sarge. Sarge, you all right? Eh? Here, I've 
Go ahead, 595. Over. Request an ambulance. 396 Warrington Parade. Male person, mid late 60s, unconscious on the pavement. Over. I've already asked you once now, please, can you stand back and get out of the way? Thank you. Better whistle up the dog catcher as well. Yeah, could you move along, please? Oh, perhaps I can help, officer. I don't know the old gentleman's name, but he does live Surely. down our road, and I've stroked the dog on the old occasion. It's worth a try. Please, mind how you go, love, OK? Yeah, be careful. Come on, my little angel. There's a nice little doggy. Oh, oh you little thief. It's Sierra Oscar from 595, are you receiving? Over. Yeah, Sarge, uh, request a dog catcher at the same location, please. Over. Can we have a dog catcher to attend the situation at 396 Warrington Parade? Over. You're never going to live this down, Taffy. Hey, uh, you never said a truer word. OK, that's on your way, please. We've seen enough, haven't we? All right. Carl, I'm on your way, please. Can I be of any help, officer? No, right, love. You can help by just moving along and out of our way. Come on, move along, please. I may well be a job, sir. Yes, thank you, love. But at the moment, it's a dog catcher we need, so you wouldn't mind just moving along? As you wish. It's a bit of all right, that. Very acceptable. Yeah, but I can tell she's one of those bossy birds. I like bossy birds. Is he in there now? can I do, Bob? Look, I know it's hard, but it's for his own good. They said he's on light duties until further notice. And by light duties, they mean admin only. Well, you try telling him that feeding a prisoner is not considered light duty. It's not light duty. If one of those prisoners goes eight and starts lashing out, how's he going to be... Is that right, Bob? Not Tom. That's what you mean, though, isn't it, Bob? You don't think I can hack it anymore? Oh, come on, Tom, that's not what Bob really means. Yes, it is. Right, Bob? Look, mate, all we're worried about is you. Oh, yeah, of course you are. Now, listen, you, Burke. But we've been friends long enough for me not to have to take all this crap. You're a good copper. You've always been a good copper, and you always will. Let me be a copper, then. Stop molly me and wrapping me in cotton wool. I'm all right now. I'm all right. Oh, yeah. And what about this, huh? Is this just for indigestion? Huh? Nutter and sell two is crap in the corner. Oh, for God's sake. What do I do? Don't worry about it. Like a firm within a firm, that little lot. Well, as it happens, Ted, we've got enough on a plate as it is. I would have thought you'd be glad to see the back of it. Have a gander at that little lot, Jim Bob. B and E's, burglaries, thefts from cars, lead from church roofs. A whole in trade full of crimes that lie in the grey area between us and the wooden tops. Do I take it the yard boys stepped in and pulled rank? Sent us away like a couple of snuff-faced school kids. Pounds to a penny to let you do all the dirty work first. No bet. <laughs> I thought as much. Well, I don't think it's funny, Mike. I am choked off with being lumbered with stuff that nobody else wants to do. All right, Ted, keep your hair on. Things will change as soon as they get us another governor. Yeah? And what were you doing sitting in that chair, eh? Trying it off a size? I'll turn it in, Ted. No, no, all right, Jim. Come on then, Ted. What's got up your nose? I have been a DS for over ten years. Ten years, Mike. Now that office in there should be mine. So that's what it's all about. Some job, eh? Yeah, it's 
समझाओ Inspectors in the building. Ah, you seen her? No. Anything on Terry Card? His file's been pulled. Can't get a thing from CRO. Well, the R blokes did warn Ted it's all part of a larger thing. We shouldn't be messing about with it, Mike. Don't I know it? Anyway, I gave an old mate of mine at the yard a bell. Hmm. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Seems that our now deceased Terry Card was linked to that big Krugerrands job last year. I thought they captured that little firm and got most of the loot back. They captured most of the firm, but only got half the loot back. Oh, yeah. Oh, sounds a bit iffy to me. Fingers were being pointed at the investigating officer. And he still hasn't given you his name? Oh, no, not a word. Well, he's uh, quite a character, as you'll see. WPC Atkins to see you. Right, thank you, sister. Alan, how are we feeling? Mm, I feel like I've been out in the tiles all night. You gave us quite a scare, you know. And that dog of yours, from what I can gather. Donna. <laughs> Where is Donna? Don't worry, Donna's safe and sound. She's being well looked after. Don't worry. Thank God for that. She didn't bite anybody, did she? <laughs> well, she's certainly very protective towards you. Now, look. We know where you live because a passerby said that you lived up her road. But what we don't know is your name. You're only known as the old man with the dog. Well, I'll keep myself to myself. Better that way. Yeah, until something like this happens. 
And don't you think it'd be a good idea to have some sort of identification on you? Well, it's never been necessary before. What happened to me? It was high blood pressure. You passed out outside the supermarket on Warrington Parade. That's never happened before. You must be getting too old. Nonsense. Could be a dozen other causes. Such as? Well, overdoing it. Strain, worry. You got any big worries at the moment? Well, who ain't? My big worry's a lazy torag of a nephew who hasn't bothered to come home for three nights. Yeah, well, look. How about you start by giving me your name, hmm? Well, what says the super? Nothing but a load of old waffle. We can't get a thing from criminal records, Ted. The files Yeah, been... pulled. Yeah, I know. The Yard's robbery and murder squad are working hand in glove on this one. The last thing we need at this moment in time, Sergeant, is third part involvement. Better back off and leave well alone. Not that it matters now, but I did find out Terry Card was a snout. We sussed that for ourselves, Mike. I mean, when the word grass has carved out. Ah, but I know who he belonged to. Who? You'll never guess. Go on. D.I. Frank Burnside. Burnside? How do you know that? Nah. Ask none, get told none. And before you say it, my info's first rate. According to my contact, Terry Card dropped out of sight about three weeks ago. Disappeared from his digs in Ilford, hasn't been seen since. Thought, well, until this morning, that is. Hold on a minute. Did you say D.I. Burnside? Oh, didn't you know? He was made up three months ago. Word also has it, he's a contender for here. Over my dead body? Burnside? Bent Burnside? Have you seen her yet? Oh, naff off, Bob. What's up with him? Jack Randolph Card, 14, Pope Road, E2. Right. Thank you. Um, does the gentleman live alone, do you know? Uh, nephew's moved into the house recently, but from what I can gather, he's hardly ever around. Mm, so a call to social services might be a good move? Yeah, I should think so. OK, I think that just about wraps it up. Yes, thanks Bye. again. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I've given all the details to the registrar, sister. Will you need to talk to the gentleman again, by any chance? No, but I suspect social services will be paying him a call. Why? Is anything wrong? Well, I was hoping one of your people could wag the finger at him for walking around with uh, this on his person. It's quite valuable, and I wouldn't like to see him brought back in here as a victim of a mugging. What, he had this on him? Yeah, hanging from his waistcoat, would you believe? It's a solid gold Kruger and... Right, when one of our people return his keys, I'll get him to have a word in his ear. OK, bye. Haven't seen her yet, but according to Reg Hollis, she's in the building. Yeah, I wonder what she's like. Yeah, so do I. How's the old boy, Jim? Right. Oh, yeah, he's all right. They're going to keep him in overnight, though. Anybody you looking over CRD, have a word with me first. first. Bad as that, is it, Jim, Jim? Yeah, bad as that, Taff. I'll get the teas in, then. Yes, your shot, Taff. Isn't it always? But actually, what about you two girls? No, Charles. No, thanks. But I've got to get a tea, then. The least you can do is get the details off, Jim. Three teas, please, love. <laughs> We've handed in the old boy's keys in the start tonight. Penny. Good. No oh, way. Where were Feet we? up in front of the box. Cool. What interesting yeah. life you Jack must lead. Jack Randolph card. Oh, uh, yeah. Noticing correspondence. His house addressed to a JR card. What, the JR? Man. Surname card? Yeah, why? Well, it's probably coincidence, but that's the name of the bloke we fished out of the Thames this morning. Common enough name. 14 Pope Road, Jim. Wait. Wakey, wakey. Jim, how old was this corpse? Well, it's hard to say, really. About 12 hours, really. No, you burk. I mean, how old, how old? Oh, I'm with you. Um, 25, 26. Why? Well, the old boy had his nephew staying with him at the house, but he hasn't been seen for the last three nights. Well, this bloke was a snout mixed up with that Kruger and blagging last yeah, year. Yeah, just said the magic word, because the old boy had a gold Kruger and hanging from his watch chain. Huh? Right. Well done, Jim. Hello, well done, girl. Right, Jimmy, you and June got on the hospital, get a statement from the old man. Just do it, Jim. Mike, Mike, you and me go and look the house over. Are we still holding the keys, Bob? Yeah, Tom Penny's got them. Taff, yeah. you've already looked the place over? Well, just to make sure the old man hadn't left any fires burning, yeah? You had no reason to do anything else, sir. Yeah, I know that. I'm not having a pop at you. Now, you better come along with Mike and me. All right, let's go do it. Excuse me, love. I think the correct 
to dress is Mom, Constable. Oh, no. Poor old soul hasn't the clues. Nephew turns off his doorstep out of the blue a few weeks ago and he puts him up. How did he take the news about his nephew's murder? Oh, I think he had half an idea he was in some sort of trouble, but, I mean, it still hit him <laughs> quite hard. He got very upset when we had to confiscate the Kruger Rand as well. His nephew gave it to him as a present. <laughs> kidding. Right. Vincy, two pints of bitter, please. Uh, yeah, and one for Tom. Not only for the top shelf, isn't it? Do you want to come and live with me or what? Oh, sorry, I spoke. Leave him, mate. Leave him alone for a oh, bit. I didn't mean that. Oh, all right, the drinks all wrong. Set him up, darling. And one for my little cracker. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the final tally then, sir? 25 grand's worth. What? Right. 25 grand's worth of Krugerrands and a cardboard box underneath the bed. You want to see the faces on the lads from the yard, they were well gutted. <laughs> to put it mildly. What about the murder inquiry? Well, what about it? Have on yourself, darling. And we were told to back off, Bob. It's down to the yard, boys. Yeah, I mean, you find the loot. Must have taken the cream off it. And then some. I'm telling you, this is the first time in a long while I've been in the good books of the governors. The super is well chopped. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, Sarge. Good result, are you? Yeah, you better believe it, sunshine. Go on, set them up on me. Oh, cheers. Uh, pipe, please, up. Excuse me, but How much? Hey, that's it. Now that is a bit tasty. Yes. Oh no, you don't, Dashes. After me, you're first. Hold on, Mike. <laughs> well, you can't get away with a stroke like that. Trust me. Hello there, Dad. It is. It is. No, I, I, I beg your pardon, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 